Uh, hi, Ivy. Ready for another exciting care of magical creatures class? I am! And Hagrid said we should expect something extra special today. I can't wait to see what it is. Unlike Daniel, who's convinced we're in mortal danger. We are! You know how Hagrid is about beasts. He thinks blast and scroots are warm and cuddly. Scroots! I'm sure whatever it is won't be that bad. Hermione wasn't afraid. <gasps> Hermione Granger. Hagrid told me she was one of his best students. She helped him raise the foot. Joke all you want. But if it wasn't for Ms. Granger, we might not even have a class to go to. She did so many amazing things, all while she was still a student. Granger, come find me after class. I'll be in the kitchens. Ah. Uh, actually, I hope it is. I didn't finish my astronomy chart, so... Uh, again, Daniel? Let me guess. You want to end up in the infirmary, don't you? Just a minor injury. Nothing serious. You want to be injured? You're mad, Daniel! Mad or mad genius? Now, where do you think? Did you hear that? It sounded like a beast. Yes, an angry one. Maybe Hagrid's in over his head for once. Fancy a look around? Sure, why not? I'm in. Excellent. Let's go. This paddock looks new, but it's empty. Let's look around. What did you find? Anything? Nothing conclusive. Maybe this is one of Hagrid's invisible beasts. Dragon Ivy, pretty sure I can't hurt it. Hey, over here, Dragon. Look at me.
But there are better ways to introduce yourself to a dragon. Sorry, I don't have a lot of experience in that area. What's this? Couldn't wait to get a look at our special guest, is that it? Oh, uh, sorry, Hagrid. We were just... Uh, um... Looking for you, and then we... Uh, well... It's alright. I don't blame you. Isn't he fabulous? He means the dragon. The Opali. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Long is a dragonologist, which means he goes around the world looking for dragons. Can you imagine? I do not. One who chooses to fight a dragon has made a very bad choice. Quite possibly their last. But that's what happened to your arm, yeah? A dragon got it. Call me Frey. Of all the rude... Oh, sorry about that. It's all right, Hagrid. Yes, Dragonfire took my arm, but the fault was mine. The dragon was simply... Being a dragon? Yes, that's right. And very perceptive. Let's see what else you know. Right. So, you used to fight dragons then? I did, once. And I was lucky to escape intact, mostly. But it was that encounter which put me on my current path. A path that has brought me here today. And you're going to teach us about dragons, right? I'm not, actually. He is. I could tell you everything I know about the beasts. But the only way to truly learn about dragons is to experience them firsthand. That sounds amazing. I've always thought dragons were fascinating, even before I knew they were real. I know how you feel. Dragons have always been a part of my life as well. So, how exactly does one experience a dragon? Dragon class! We're gonna feed them and care for them and watch them grow and, and and everything. Might even learn a thing or two. In this class? <laughs> that would be a first. Hello? Am I the only sane one here? It's a dragon! They're killers! Oh, rubbish. They ain't killers. Well, maybe they are, but not on purpose. And this fella's just a wee dragon. Can't even fly yet. True. But do not mistake size for weakness. This is a powerful creature whose claws, teeth, and flames are all lethal. One should only approach a juvenile dragon with caution and respect. Who'd like to go first? What about you? Perhaps another go? Sure, I'll do it. You already had your chance. 